Jackson Radio Show. Be still, my heart. This next story is hysterical on so many levels. We're going to spend a little time talking about this story. Yeah. See, what it is, it turns out. By the way, welcome to the Kevin Jackson Show. <laughs> we got to do a little housekeeping. If you want to call the show, 844 551 8255. You can get this show on demand anytime you want. And I promise you, this segment, you're going to want to get on demand. It, just go to kjradio.com. Look, a firefighter who's new, he just got out of firefighting school. He gets assigned in Detroit to a firefighting you know, location, a firehouse. And they every year, I mean, when you're a new guy, you got your, it's not a requirement, but you can, uh, you know, they want you to bring a gift to the fire station. So this white dude decides he's going to bring a watermelon with a, a little bow on it. And all hell breaks loose. So I'm going to let you listen to the clip. And then we got to dissect this. This is a funny story. Check it out. A firefighter new to the job makes a major faux pas while getting to know his new colleagues. What he says was a gesture of goodwill was not received that way at all. Fox 2's Taryn Asher here now to explain why some people were so offended. Taryn. Well, Robert Pattison had just completed the Firefighter Training Academy. He was set to work at Detroit's Engine 55. He says he brought a watermelon with a pink bow to introduce himself to the crew as a nice gesture. But it certainly wasn't taken that way. Fired before he officially started. Last Monday, 41-year-old Robert Pattison went to introduce himself to his fellow firefighters at Engine 55 at Joy and Southfield in Detroit. 2nd Battalion Chief Sean McCarty calls it a tradition for firefighters. It's not mandatory. It's voluntary. You come in, you bring bring gifts. You uh, you might bring some donuts. The usual gift is donuts. Okay. Um, But you're allowed to bring in whatever you want to bring in. And Pattison, a probationary firefighter, decided to bring this watermelon with a pink ribbon on top. We're told some African-American firefighters were instantly offended, since 90 percent of the people who work at Engine 55 are black. When you get your first detail to a firehouse, you you know um, pretty much what you're getting yourself into. So I would have to say, you know, it, it was probably a bad call. Is it racially insensitive to bring a water? Watermelon into a fire. Some peeps to some people. I spoke to Patterson by phone, who claims it was not a joke, and he did not mean to offend his fellow firefighters, but he clearly did. Fire Commissioner Eric Jones says the Fenton native was officially discharged. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Be still, my heart. Firefighter brings me some watermelon. I, I'm just like, hey, way to go, way to go. Look, let me tell you, this is you know why this cracks me up. Because when I was in uh, electronics, uh, I had a, a rep firm and distributors would want you to come by periodically and say hello. And it became the standard practice to go by and bring a couple of boxes of donuts. And, you know, people would, hey, thanks, Kevin. Good to see you. You know, you chit chat a little bit. Well, suddenly that became that was no longer in vogue to do that because we got on this health kick. So everybody stopped bringing uh, donuts and he started bringing fruits fruit baskets and and it was generally these uh what they call it like edible arrangements kind of thing or if somebody got like you wanted to reward someone you would no longer send a bottle of wine or you wouldn't send a cookie thing or whatever you would you know you would send uh, edible fruits which i happen to really enjoy i think they're very cool things to uh to have people check out so in fact, ironically, I got an edible fruit basket yesterday because I did a radio hit for a show and they loved it. So the lady called me up and says, Kevin, we want to send you a gift. And I was like, OK, whatever. So I give them my address. They send me an edible fruit thing. And um, so but the funny thing about it was with the edible fruits, it's got cantaloupe and kiwi. And, you know, it looks like a flower arrangement. And they've cut the fruit and these strange things. And of course, it had watermelon. And I was immediately offended. <laughs> <laughs> that there wasn't more watermelon. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyway, this story cracks me up on so many levels. How do you fire someone for bringing watermelon to your workplace? If the water, look, it, it, let me put it. To, if the watermelon had been sliced and diced, would they have fired him? I don't think so. If he was a black dude who brought the watermelon 
to the fire station would they have fired him I don't believe so why are we firing people over watermelon first day of work shows up with a gift and it's a watermelon in there well people was offended really here's what the uh, the fire commissioner Eric Jones said there is zero tolerance for discriminatory behavior inside the Detroit fire department okay I'm with you good so what's this got to do with the watermelon <laughs> unbelievable and, and here's what he continues with on Saturday September 30th 2017 at engine 55 a trial firefighter fighter probationary employee engaged in unsatisfactory work behavior which was deemed offensive and racially insensitive to the members of the Detroit Fire Department okay after a thorough investigation, it was determined the best course of action was to terminate the employment of this probationary employee. Let me tell you guys something. This is a cabal. This is a bunch of black dudes that got together that said, let's make this a racial incident. Let's get rid of this white boy. And the next person they send over will be another brother. That's what this is about. You can, they can whitewash this, pardon the pun, all they want. That's what this is fired grown men offended by a watermelon i don't look i I'm, I'm i'll admit i'm not easily offended but i do know this if you brought a watermelon with a bow on the first thing i would do is crack up i would be like white boy you got some f-. yeah it's funny now it isn't because i believe black people own the watermelon we don't own the watermelon and and I asked this very simple question. If the watermelon is so racist, why do they sell them at the supermarket? Because everywhere I go, the watermelon is there. And it's there. There's the little bitty ones. I don't even know. What do you call those little bit? You know, what do they call those little bitty ones? Mini melons? I mean, they're like the size of a, they're bigger than a grape. They're like the size of a, uh, uh, you know, a honeydew. They're not that big. And to be honest with you, I don't buy them because I don't think there's enough inside of, and they're not, they're not cheap. Little suckers are at least half the price of a full watermelon and they're a third. So I'm looking at the value going, uh, uh-uh, this brother knows how to pick a watermelon and I'm going to pick a big one. I'm not picking one of these little bitty melons. I went to melon school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that, why would, how can you sell such a racist? I, that's like the Confederate flag, isn't it? Is a, is the new confederate flag is the watermelon <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you I cannot believe that we are discussing this at this day and time I mean can white people can white people buy watermelons can white people eat watermelons if people were offended is really firing the dude a course of action I mean there's so many questions that beg God, I'm, I'm, this is the, one of the most interesting stories on so many levels, because here's the deal. First of all, black folks do not own the watermelon, because if I knew this, I would go into a grocery store about, I don't know, once every week. And I just go in there, grab me a watermelon and walk out. <laughs> I just would and dare somebody to stop me. Moreover, if I saw white people buying a watermelon. I would accuse them of being slave, slave owners. I would go, oh, I see you're buying a watermelon. You must not understand the oppression that that melon represents. And I would go totally Malcolm X on their butts. Because why not? They're just going to be like all scared and put it back. I go, oh, no, you cannot put it back. You purchase it and you give it to the nearest black man. You can give it to me. (laughs) I will take this off your hands. By the way. Speaking of which, we have a certificate of forgiveness that you can buy, which will allow you to go out and purchase as many watermelons as you want, take them to as many firehouses as you choose, and you, as soon as they, see, this guy could have used the certificate of forgiveness. Part, his name is uh, Patterson. Patterson. He could have used a certificate of forgiveness. Go to certificateofforgiveness.com. I'm not kidding. People think this is a gag gift. It's not a gag gift. It will exonerate you from your race. Anybody accusing you of being a racist. Go to certificateofforgiveness.com 
and get it. And I, me, authentic black man, I absolve you of any guilty feelings. This would have come in handy for this man. And if you don't need one for yourself, get one for your liberal cousin or your liberal uncle or your liberal you know, sister-in-law. Trust me, they need it. They feel guilty. Certificateofforgiveness.com. I still want to cover more about this fireman. And I want to talk about the implications of what, what a, taking a watermelon to work. Bring your watermelon to work day. You know, what if they had something like that? What, what would he do? Could he bring a watermelon to work? What if his child's name was watermelon? I mean, there's all. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.